Tony, how special is it for you to be uh, starting at this test? Um, yeah, it'll be pretty pretty cool. Um, it's been on the bucket list for a, for a wee while to pl play at Murrayfield, um, so um, I'd say it'll be it'll be more special for the for the parents, but I'm um, looking forward to it. I was going to say, what do they make of it? Yeah, they're they're real stoked, so um, they'll be along at the game, and yeah, they'll be they'll be happy. And what jersey? Yeah, I don't know. I think they'll be happy either way, won't they? So <laughs> win win for them. Hey, just how much of a play did Scotland make for you to maybe play for your country of birth? Um, oh, we won, but um, back then it was sort of through COVID, so things didn't really work out. So I guess. Um, Happy where I stayed, and yeah, it's gone pretty well so far. So. I was gonna say, it did actually work out for you in the end? Like, <laughs> yeah, yep. Happy with the decision? Happy, yeah. Can you clarify? Were you like born in Peebles and kind of raised in that area? Yeah, born in uh, just outside of Peebles, Mel Melrose Hospital. I think I was born, but we lived in Peebles, and then yeah. um, moved up to Aberdeen shortly before uh, moving to New Zealand. So, yeah, moved to New Zealand when I was about seven, just over seven. And you. Uh, have you ever taken any trips back or has it been from then? Uh, it's been about just over 10 years since I've been back. Came back a few times when I was still at school, but um, since then haven't been back. You gonna learn me on them? <laughs> uh, might get in trouble if I sing along, but. <laughs> <laughs> Bowden, what are your connections to Scotland? Um, well, my grandfather on my mother's side, um, his surname's Sinclair and he says a bit of Scottish blood there going back. I'm um, not sure how far, but um, other than that, I've obviously visited here a few times with footy. Uh, it's a great place to come back to, and the people are amazing. What are your memories about that last game you guys played about five years ago? Yeah, it was, I think, three all at half time. A uh, real nail biter, um, a close encounter, and came right down to the wire at the end of that game. So um, I'd expect something similar this week, too. You were the one who made the cover and tackle on Stuart Hogg. What was it like when you saw him break and you had to chase him down? Yeah, I know how quick he is. And um, thankfully I had the sideline to work with and uh, yeah, the game flashed before our eyes and we were quite lucky to get away with it. So that just shows the, I guess, how lethal Scotland can be as a team. They've got plenty of attacking weapons and um, they like to use the ball. So. Our defence has to be on this week. Yeah, I think for both yourselves in Wales at the weekend and then Scotland, maybe they haven't got it out to their wingers as much as they'd like. Do you expect more of it going into the hands of potentially Doohan and Darcy and a big job for you guys in the wings? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's especially the way they like to play. They play a little bit more uh, with more depth and um, that allows them to play more expansively and um, they have good decoy runners and options. So. I don't think they'll have an issue of using the ball, uh, getting it to the width. So it's, I guess, why it's going to be a good challenge for our defence, um, how well we can get up and shut down their time and space. Odin, you've played a bit with Mark Talia for a couple of years at Super Level. How exciting to see him get a test start? We're all really excited for him. Um, we, we think that he's good to go. Um, he's a phenomenal player, athlete, and um, defensively he's one of the best on the right wing. So. I'm excited for him and his family, and I think he deserves it. What's he been like this year? Because he's been a you know, training partner for a while, and, and now he gets his chance. What's he been like sort of waiting for the opportunity? He's been very patient. He goes about his work in a quiet manner, and you just see him, the way he performs on the field. Um, you know, his d deceptive strength and speed and his ability to be physical. Um, I think he weighed in this morning just over 100 kilos. He doesn't really look like that, but he's a strong, strong winger. So um, I'm just so excited for him. And every time a new player gets the opportunity to wear the jersey for the first time is a special moment. So for him to have many, you know, Blues teammates around him, it's going to be a special occasion. Just on that, you're playing together, uh, you know, played a bit together at Super Rugby level, obviously now. So playing at international level, this 19 combo for, for both of you must be pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm pumped. Can't wait to get out there with Red and uh, I enjoy taking the field with him whether it's at super level or at international so um, we've got a good little combo going from our years um, at, at the Blues and hopefully we can build on that and have a good game on Saturday, Sunday. And like, did you ever go to Murrayfield prior to moving out to New Zealand and are there any games that you've seen that, that stand out there? I don't think I have, no. Um, 
if I have, it would have been when I was real little and couldn't remember. But from from memory, no, nah, I haven't been there before. So really looking looking forward to it. Are there any games that you've seen, Six Nations or otherwise, that stand out in your memory? Oh no, standouts. But yeah, I've watched 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 a few. But obviously, it's it's tough over in New Zealand with the three a.m. kickoffs. But I always have, I guess, paid attention to results and things like that. And um, yeah, as I said, it's it's been on the bucket list for a while. Mum and Dad suffered their Scottish accents, and who did they tell you about Scottish rugby wise? Um, yeah, I think they do. Um, definitely to Kiwis anyway. They always seem to think they do. Um, and. Oh, I can't. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure me and my brother are both named after um, Scottish rugby players. So Willie yeah, that could be the one. Um, you'd have, you'd have to double name. check with him. <laughs> um, you'd have to double check with him, but um, yeah. You you look. Your brother's called Gregor. Yeah, he is. Gregor, too, is it? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your parents are across at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yep. Have you managed to catch up? Because your brother's here as well. Have you managed to catch up as a family? No, nah, not yet. Um, they've been. Down in Hoyk, uh, I've got um, uncle and cousins down there, so they've been down staying with them. But I think they're coming up either today or tomorrow, so yeah, I'll get in touch with them. Is Hoyt basically where your mum's from? Right yeah, there? she's from there, yeah, yeah just yeah, outside yeah. of it, yeah. Sure. What's her maiden name again? What's that, sorry? Her maiden name? <laughs> <laughs> Fleming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fleming. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. What's your mum and dad's actual names, first names? Uh, Liz and Chris. Cheers. I had a um, long time between drinks for you in the 10 years. Have you been sort of itching to get back in there, or pretty happy where you've been? Yeah, I've I've been happy, um, you know, in my role, whatever it is, um, contributing at training, and uh, obviously on the weekend, first game back for a while, uh, five weeks or so. So, um, yeah, of course, every opportunity I get, starting whether it's ten or fifteen, it's um, one that I get excited about, and um, yeah, it's going to be a good challenge for me whoever I'm up against in the other team, um, but more importantly focusing on what we can do and the performance we can have. Well, then there's been a lot of discussion, you've just touched on it, who will fill the Scotland 10 jersey, we, we think it will be Finn Russell, but th does it change your approach at all, how you prepare for the game in terms of who you'll be up against? It doesn't a hell of a lot, um, to be honest. We're obviously aware of um, Hastings and you know Finn and their strengths and what they bring, but from a I think you just have to look at teams' trends and um, how they play as a team rather than focus on the individual too much. But obviously, he's got a lot of talent and skill, Finn, and we expect that he plays. Seven blows in this All Blacks 15. Is that enough? Too much? R right number? We'll know on Sunday. <laughs> but um, oh, it's great. Um, I guess when we play at super level, that's the goal is to play well enough to make the All Blacks and develop as rugby players and you know be the best we can be so I think the special thing is we get one of our brothers who gets his first crack at it on the right wing this week and it's going to be special for Mark. Guys, it's uh, just another big game on this weekend for the Black Ferns playing in the World Cup final. Uh, what advice would you give them leading into that game? They've, they've got it sorted. Um, they're obviously very well coached. Um, They've had a great campaign so far. The country's all behind them, and you know we're going to be supporting from over here. So just go out there and enjoy the occasion. Uh, it's going to be amazing for them. It'll be a sellout, Eden Park, and you just trust one another and what you've been doing throughout the campaign because yeah, they've got the goods.